Now the Italians have been making telescopes as long as anyone, well, since Galileo, I guess, and this is one of their pride and joys. It's the Telescopio Nazionale Galileo, or the TNG, and for obvious reasons I'm going to keep calling it the TNG. Now I'm told this is pretty much a copy, although slight improvement, of another telescope the Italians worked on in Chile, but obviously where? In La Palma, in the Canary Islands. The camera doesn't really do justice to the size of this thing until you see perhaps a human next to it. Not the prettiest dome on the mountain, but apparently it's designed to optimise the optics inside to give a kind of laminar airflow, so as the air flows through the dome, it doesn't disturb the pictures you're getting. Yes, this is definitely an Italian telescope facility. So we're now going up the stairs to the telescope, and this is Avet. Avet is an astronomer here, and he's going to show us inside. Okay, so here it is. It's very cold in here, which is always good for a telescope dome. So this is the shutter here that opens each night. Everything comes apart, opens up to the sky. And then, you've heard me say this before, this is your typical telescope where the light comes down, hits the primary mirror, that's M1, and then it bounces up to our secondary mirror, and then it comes down there, and then the light can either go off that way, or it can go off that way to the instruments. And actually, here's a really good picture of it. So what's so special about this telescope? We'll get a better look at this in a minute, but one of the key things is the active optics on the mirror underneath, which we'll see better in a minute, there's a whole bunch of pods that are able to adjust the mirror through the night to get the optimum conditions for seeing. So it's a mirror that actually can flex and bend. And now if we go through this door, Nazmuth B, this is one of the sides where the instruments are. Here are some of the instruments that actually measure the light off to the sides. There's one there, and there's one there. And astronomers are brilliant at naming their instruments. This one here is called Dolores. So that gets used if the light goes that way, but if they turn that mirror around to make the light go this way, they can use the instruments over here in Nazmuth A. And these instruments have a lot to do with infrared spectroscopy. And now I think they might even move the telescope for us as a bit of a treat. It's very smooth movement and so quiet. Again, it's amazing how quiet these things are something so heavy and it's just moving like a feather and now coming into view is the bottom of the primary mirror and we can see all those pods that are able to ever so slightly adjust the mirror through the night to ensure the best possible pictures look at all those cables that's even worse than behind my tv at home so as the top ring gets closer and closer i could almost reach out and touch the secondary mirror now we're also getting a really good look at the primary mirror and there's the baffle. The light goes in there for the final time and then you can just see to the sides, there's that third mirror inside the baffle that will channel the light off to its final destination in the instruments. Closing it up now, we're finished having a look. Of course it will open up again tonight. Hopefully there'll be clear skies and good seeing. So this is the view from the TNG looking down over the observatory. But of course, that's the view they're really interested in. 